Travis County has less than a year to finish nearly 60 road and park improvement projects. Yeah, these are items that voters approved three years ago. It was a $300 million bond project. Candy Rodriguez is following up on the progress, and she tells us why one county commissioner says these projects could make a big difference this spring with the potential for flooding as that increases. As Southeast Travis County continues to grow and get built up, development upstream has always been a concern for one Travis County commissioner who says flooding downstream can become more extreme. We kind of learned that, uh oh, we need to stop here and, and start making some real changes. Travis uh, County in, Precinct in 4 Commissioner area. Margaret Gomez says the 2017 voter approved bonds look to make improvements in flood prone areas like FM 973, South Pleasant Valley Road, and the Onion Creek Greenway. The work expands roads, builds new bridges, and upgrades drainage systems. But yeah, we see a lot of flooding over there in that area. Rogelio Camacho lives near El Roy Road. That's close to Coda, part of the area area sits on a large floodplain. The road's winding project will add lanes, construct a bridge, and help create an evacuation route for when water levels rise. And we had heard stories before in talking to the school superintendent over at Del Valley that there were students who were sometimes, when it was flooding, if they were at home, the buses couldn't get into their homes to pick them up to take them to school. If they were at school and it was flooding, they couldn't get them home. We couldn't get in or out. And school was just, we had to go different routes to pick up kids, and it was just crazy. As of now, Gomez says the projects are on track despite COVID-19. Right now, out of the 59 projects, 18 are complete, around 11 are under construction, and most of the rest are in the design phase. County transportation leaders expect to complete the majority of the projects by the end of next year. I feel like it's a good thing. Especially since, you know, the rain thing is coming pretty soon. In Travis County, Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News. So another project that Candy highlighted in that area last month is the South Pleasant Valley Road Improvements. Yeah, and this is a partnership between the county and Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority. The project here calls for adding a four-lane divided road with bike lanes and sidewalks. It would run from south of Farm to Market Road 1327. You can see here the proposed route. This is along Bradshaw Road to River Plantation Drive. The goal is to make the road safer and make room for all the growth in the area. Now, give you some perspective of what we're talking about here. Onion Creek is Austin's largest watershed. The city conducted a flood plan, flood, flood plain rather study uh, in the area, and they say the best way to evaluate that is dealing with the flooding in the neighborhood. So the flood plain study also looks at three of the creeks that feed into Onion Creek, and that's Bear, Little Bear, and Renard. You may remember in 2013 on Halloween, that historic flash flooding that hit the Onion Creek neighborhood causing so much chaos. The creek was rising. It rose to an historic 41 feet, killing five people, and it damaged hundreds of homes in Onion Creek's neighborhood. One of Austin's worst floods took place on Memorial Day back in 1981. This is the raging floodwaters right down the road from us over on Shoal Creek, and 13 people were swept away and died. It had damaging homes and destroyed businesses as it flooded streets along Lamar Boulevard.